everyone, it's Kalia, and today I decided to do a video for you guys that is going to show you guys what I'm bringing with me on deployment and what's going in my seat bag and in my storage space. This video is specific to me and my platform, so I recommend for you to check out what storage is available to you, um, depending on where you're going for deployment and what platform you're going to be on. Okay, I also want to apologize for any military jargon or Navy jargon that I might use um yeah <laughs> okay let's get started so first things first so some of the military items that i'm going to be bringing um obviously i will be bringing my um my working uniform under shirts right so my brown t-shirts and i will be folding them like this in my rack and in my seat bag so i'll be bringing 14 of these and i recommend just to bring 14 of all your necessary items so um socks underclothes, um, like gym clothes for working out. Um, yeah, so just bring 14. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll be bringing those. I'm gonna bring two of my white t-shirts, nice new white crisp t-shirts for um, leaving deployment, manning the rails, being in your, um, your dress uniform, also for any boards that I might stand or any inspections that I might stand. So two of them is a pretty good number. Also, I don't like to bring a lot of whites because of laundry situation. Um, okay, like I said, um, undergarments, make sure you bring all your undergarments, um, at least 14 pair at a minimum. I will bring workout clothes. So I have workout pants and shirts. I recommend bringing um, workout t-shirts. So not just the tank tops. Um, some people like to wear those and that's cool, but based off of um, your command and everything like that, it's just a safe idea to bring t-shirts because you never know what people are gonna allow you to wear and everything like that. So I also bring my Navy PT gear just in case I need to use it for anything. Um, also because I paid for this, so I will use this to work out in. Okay, so um, boots. I'm bringing my boots. I have two pairs of boots, so I probably will bring two pair. This is my nicer, newer pair, and I have another pair that's old and not as nice. So I will bring those for any type of like situation where I, you know, don't care about my boots and I just need a second pair for any type of reason they're stolen misplaced or whatever or I'm doing some type of painting or anything like that and I don't want to um, mess up my my nicer pair of boots so I wear if you wear glasses or anything you're actually supposed to have like at least two pairs of these so I will be bringing my glasses and my contacts making sure I have a lot of that okay um Okay, I'm gonna bring this. So I recommend uh, bringing this for your towel, right? So this is a nice uh, microfiber, I believe it's called towel. Um, it's very thin. I get the like the extra large ones. I also like that it has this, so you can try to roll it up and use wrap it around to snap it. Um, also, it's really nice because you can hang it. Um, it doesn't drip like water; it absorbs all the water. It doesn't like carry any type of uh, smell. Or anything like that um, it's really nice and it folds very easily very small so it's really good for um, fitting into your storage so that will come with me I also got this for the first time that I'm gonna bring it's like a dress and it's also kind of microfiber -y, uh, water absorbent um, it has pockets so I like this because I feel like it's nice just to kind of come in and out of the head with it um, without having to carry as much stuff and um, I can still dry myself off with it. So I will be bringing that as well. Uh, laundry hamper, make sure you have one, make sure you bring one. Um, I also recommend that it has some type of strings with it. I also got a bobby pin just in case I have an issue with the strings. Um, yeah. With that, I recommend getting these. These are really nice because um, you can put for your laundry, you can put your undergarments in this and your socks to keep up with those things. And um, just in case you have any issues with people moving your laundry around or anything, you don't have to worry about people touching your undergarments. 
or losing them. Um, it just kind of keeps everything nice and together. Uh, like I said, new socks, right? Um, nice black socks for my boots. Make sure you have at least 14 of those. Okay, shower shoes. Oh, over here. Okay, shower shoes are an absolute must. Uh, these are nice because if they don't collect water, they have holes at the bottom too. Um, so I bring at least two pairs because I've had shoes break on me before, which suck. Um, also, I recommend having a shower caddy um, that's nice and like this, so it's not cloth, so it's gonna air out. Um, especially if anything's wet or steam, but it's nice to just have everything in this to transport. You can hang it in your your um, your stand-up locker if you have one, and it's just really convenient. Okay, of course. Okay, I'll get back to that in a second. So far as like civvies and stuff like that, um, I have a pair of pants that's just nice and airy, um, kind of somewhat formal and um, just kind of goes with different things. I have one sweatshirt that I can wear. I'm also gonna bring sweatpants just in case it's cold, I'm working out or something like that, or I'm cold in my rack um, and I don't wanna use my sleeping bag for whatever reason. Also, just in case we pull in somewhere that's kind of a little bit chilly and I want a sweatshirt, I have one. I actually got that sweatshirt in France on uh, one of my products. I also will bring um, long dresses um yeah so i have a couple long dresses that i'm gonna bring kind of summery um and thin not too heavy i'm not holding my breath that we're gonna be pulling into port because of covid19 i really don't know what that's gonna be like but i definitely want to make sure that i do have some civvies dresses that are a little bit longer i feel like are a good go because depending on where you're pulling in there's different kind of like cultural um, you want to be culturally aware and there's different like things that you're supposed to not wear and to wear so I feel like for me because I do like dresses that's kind of a good way to go um, because it is a little bit modest um, a little bit more a little bit more formal but not overly formal um, and comfortable but I also like I said I will bring those pants um, and a pair of jeans um, I also have a few pairs of shirts to go with the pairs of jeans that have sleeves again um, for shoes I will bring my tennis shoes for working out I also have a pair of casual slash um, tennis shoes so I can wear these out but I can also wear them to work in or do any type of like outside thing if we're pulling into port um, and then a casual shoe I would recommend bringing something like this just a casual shoe that is closed toe um, because there are rules with um, coming on and off the brow with open toe shoes um so definitely make sure that you have a pair of that and that's what i'll be bringing um let's see okay so my own sheets i do have my own sheets that i'm bringing that's nice and comfortable like i said i like um, more like darker colors for laundry purposes um so you don't have to worry about like ugh, now i have to like do multiple loads just because for these few things of white clothes and all that kind of stuff so I do like darker sheets so I will bring those I also have my sleeping bag I recommend one that has like different types of like for different types of weather um, and it's nice because you can make your bed all nice and tight keep it done um, use your sleeping bag then roll it up when you get out of bed put it in your rack or store it into your rack or your storage a stand up or whatever you have um, Oh, I will bring my mock turtleneck. I work in a cold space, so this is really nice. So I don't always have to worry about my Parker liner or if my Parker liner is in the wash. I do, I can wear my mock turtleneck um, to keep me nice and warmer, like not freezing. Um, I have a swimming suit. Like again, not on my breath. I'm gonna go somewhere where I'm gonna be on Liberty. I'm gonna be having a pool or a beach or anything like that. But I decided I would bring it just in case. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, my own pillow. Bring that. Okay. Okay, so body products, right? 
few things. So make sure you have enough body products. You probably will be able to order some and get some out of your ship store, but I do like to just have some so I don't have to worry about running out because it's not like you have a wide variety in your um, at your command store. And um, with ordering stuff on the ship, it might take you a minute to get it. So I like to just get the bigger ounce. I don't usually use this brand, but it's cheaper and bigger, so I decided to get it. So I have my shampoo, my conditioner, my leave-in. I will bring this too. My spray bottle, I can put in like my leave-in um, with my uh, with water. Um, speaking of that, also I like to bring. Um, which I'm actually about to use one of these, which is really nice. Um, just like facial towels. Um, the water isn't super wonderful for your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. So, or maybe you don't know how you're uh, how you're gonna react to the water. Um, so, I personally like to have facial wipes that I wash my face with, and they go in the trash. So after I use them, they will go in the trash. Um, so yes, I will bring a pair of these. I have a pack. They're all glued together. I'm not going to show it to you. But um, some type of facial wipe. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So boots. Um, I will bring my boots. Um, if you have multiple pair, I would bring like two pair if you have it. Um, just because you have your kind of nicer pair and your pair that you can paint in and grind in or do any type of stuff like that in, or if you're doing some type of CN ink or a Raz and you get wet, which I've had happen to me in the past, um, your shoes are wet. You don't have to wear your tunic shoes. You could just wear your boots. Or, um, if you're doing some type of board or something and you want to have wear your nicer pair of boots and just wear your kind of more regular, smegular working boots, um, these are already ready to go. Okay, I also have my uh, satin bonnet, so I'll be using, so it's nice, um, it has an extra layer or whatever, so I don't have to worry about any products that's in my hair, like, um, like getting on my pillow, especially because of the wash day situations. Um, also, it's nice for if you have your hair in a nice uh, style, whatever work, professional style, it can kind of keep your, your bun nice and slick and ready to go, so you don't have to redo your hair every morning. Um, yeah. Or throughout the day or if you're just going to your rack for uh, you know for your sleeping hours but you have to get back up you don't have to worry about redoing your hairstyle okay um, glasses eyewear you're supposed to have two glasses and make sure you have plenty of eyewear so we'll be bringing that I will be bringing some makeup with me um, I'm not planning on doing my makeup very often um, but just in case we do pull into port or something, or I just want to feel more like myself or switch something up, right? Um, I will bring some. So just foundation. I've become a Fenty girl. So I'll be bringing that. Uh, eyebrows. Probably will be doing my eyebrows pretty frequently because that's just me. I like doing my eyebrows. Uh, mascara and just like a nude lipstick. So bring that. Shower caddy, I recommend bringing a shower caddy just because it's easier coming in and out of the head. Um, you have something uh, that carries all your stuff. You can hang it up um, in like the shower hooks or whatever and it just carries everything. It's really nice. With that, shower shoes, I would bring two. Um, you're gonna need these. And it's also, I recommend getting the kind that are like this, not the kind that are like this, but I just bought these because they're cheap, this extra pair. Um, just because I've had them break on me before, but these are harder to break when they're like this. So make sure that you have at least two pairs of those. Um, okay, again, like toiletries that are going in your caddy, um, deodorants, multiple deodorants, um, multiple toothpastes and toothbrushes. I have floss that'll be going with me. Um, um, hair bun. So any of your hair stuff, like I said, you're going to need that. Um, you still need to be in regs, right? So like I have combs and stuff that are going to be going with me to do my hair, hair gels. Um, I'm going to bring a big thing of castor oil for my hair. I have my do grow oil that's going with me. 
I have um, these, I have three big bottles of these, which is body wash, uh, Dove. Um, and I got these from Costco, which is really nice. Costco is a great place to go deployment shopping for, or at, okay. Air freshener, I recommend bringing an air freshener. You never know. Um, you're living with a bunch of different people, right? Bunch of different jobs, bunch of different work schedules, all kinds of stuff, and also the head, right? Like there's not an unlimited amount of heads. So it's nice to be able to air freshen if you have to use the bathroom, or let's say you're the person who's using the bathroom, spray, you know, be courteous to everyone else. So that's a must for me. Uh, a multivitamin, I like the hair, skin, and nails, but I also will bring the Flintstone gummy ones, so I recommend getting a vitamin um, just for your own health. Um, it's necessary. Uh, lotions, I like the Lubriderm. I don't use this at home on a regular basis, but I felt like it was good to use here just, begin, um, just because it's just a nice, simple, simple lotion. Oh, I forgot my makeup thing. Okay. Oh, hydrocodone. I I love this stuff. I use this for my family, myself. Anytime there's any type of rash or scratch or anything like that, it's good to have this um, with you. Um, yes. So I would bring that with you. Oh, more hair stuff. Cream. Uh, big thing. Okay, let's see. Also, like a hair gel I have with me that I'm bringing. Um, loofahs. I got this off of Amazon, so it comes in a pack. I think of four or six in here. And you can always order more. Like, there's, I'm sure your ship store will supply some, and you can probably order some on Amazon, but I would bring some with you. Okay, I also will be bringing stuff for my hair. So I do productive styling for my hair and I add extra stuff in my hair. So in here I have like bobby pens. Um, I have some hair holder clips. And um, I also in here I have a wig. Um, and I probably will bring some like extension hair with me as well. Okay, a knife. I recommend uh, getting a knife, right? You're probably gonna need one. A little bit closer. This is mine simple not super expensive recommend getting one with a clip so it's just a simple simple knife okay. um so i will bring a mirror with me i'm trying this for the first time it has a magnet on it and i'm hoping that i could put this in my stand-up blocker so i don't have to wait for people um everybody's using the mirror right with different schedules and stuff so i could hopefully just use my stand-up blocker if i'm not in somebody's way um where i have my own mirror uh shoe shine stuff recommend bringing that i will be bringing it with me um this is what i used everybody has their own way of doing it right i know so many people who use lighters cotton balls all the kind of stuff i just use these the regular old natural thing um i'll use some water with it or whatever and i uh i will bring this and this is just to refresh during the week or during the times that i don't have time to shine my boots by hand or um it's just a nice kind of touch up okay i'm the kind of person who i don't bring i did this the first time but i decided it was pointless I'm not going to bring a lot of food and stuff with me. I know tons of people do that. I'm just not going to do that because I feel like I end up eating it all really quickly. And it's like, what was the point? Also, you could order stuff on Amazon or have family send you stuff. Um, so I just have gum. And I know, right, okay, there are regulations about having gum and chewing gum in uniform. So this can be used during working out. If you're sitting on a watch or something or you're just, you've trying to freshen your breath up or whatever after eating a meal or you're in civvies on liberty or whatever um also my husband got me uh, the crystal white packets which will be really nice i recommend i don't have with me because it's in my car but i recommend getting a water bottle right and i recommend getting the kind that uh has a wide opening just for washing purposes 
So if you have something that's hard to wash, that might be a hassle. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, um, I already talked about my sleeping bag. Get a sleeping bag. Like I said, um, make sure you have a nice good sleeping bag to use. Uh, pens. For some reason, pens end up disappearing. I'm not going to say that people steal them, but they always send, end up disappearing somehow. They get lost. People borrow them, forget that they have them. Like, they fall in the head and people are like, I'm done with these, but just bring some pens. The command should supply pens, right? I know that's a thing. Um, but sometimes, like, I've had commands be like, hey, go to your, your RPPO, should have ordered them. Blase, blase. So I would just bring your own pens. Also, if you're kind of bougie and you like to write with a certain pen, um, yeah. With that being said, also, charger, cord, earphones, please bring these. Not everybody wants to hear your music, right? Earphones, nice. You could listen to your audibles whatever your videos your home videos whatever it is make sure you have headphones working out we'll bring those um purse so i didn't have this my first time but i am glad that i have it um because these can come off also it can carry your phone billfold id whatever it's nice and lightweight you don't have to worry about carrying a purse or whatever um, or keep it in your pocket and maybe losing it so this will be going with me jewelry wise obviously um i'd make sure that you have a watch casio i recommend maybe one or two casios or one casio just make sure you have a watch um and for jewelry i just have earrings civilian earrings and also some that are like silver and like dull and gray or whatever for military i'm the kind of person i have to have earrings um and then these are really awesome uh, wedding bands excuse me so I just have multiple of them I'm wearing one right now so these are really nice I won't bring my wedding ring um, just because I don't want I don't want any scares where it gets lost or I leave it or something happens an alarm clock I like an alarm clock I had one before I always have one um really nice right small keep it in your rack keep it on your rack velcro it whatever you want right obviously it's really nice this one has military time i like it with military time very nice in just i like having an actual long clock um just proceed with caution right don't like drive anyone nuts with it So a planner, I'm a person who likes to use a planner. Um, so I like to have my own personal planner just so I can remember like different holidays. I can keep track of my days. Also has my address book in it. So I would bring an address book or, um, or get a planner with one. So yeah, this is just really nice. Um, yeah, I like having a planner. So I recommend bringing that. Laundry pods, I don't know if I mentioned that, but make sure you have laundry pods. I've never seen anyone use powder or liquid or anything like that. Laundry pods are really nice because they're very convenient, um, portable, and um, yeah. So make sure you have those for your laundry. Uh, anything that I didn't need to show? Not sure. Um, I do have my pillow. I'm bringing my own pillow. Um, okay. So locks. You're going to need locks for your rack, your stand-up. And if you have more storage or different storage than that where you need to lock it up, you want to have that. I'm trying these ones. I've used a bunch of different kinds. I'm trying these for the first time. So it's four numbers. So have those. Um... Okay, 
So also these, these are really nice. I'm gonna bring these. These are lights that have sticker on the end. So these are gonna go in my rack. Racks are super dark and you're not gonna get a lot of light. People work different hours. And as a person who's like night watches and still like majority night watches in my life, um, it, it stays dark. So these are nice because you can um, put them, stick them in your rack. And so that way, you know, you can get some light in your rack without turning on any, any lights to wake people up. It's just kind of like fun thing, a little stress ball for me. I thought it was cute. Right? All about your attitude, right? Smiley face or frowny face. You decide. That's what it said. Um <laughs> talked about the multivitamin. Okay, okay, so another thing, um, if you're a female, make sure you bring feminine hygiene products, right? So um, whichever one you like to use, I make sure you bring some for that. You will be able to get some at your ship store and probably also order online, but I would bring some. Um, um, and just a little spill here. Those, uh, they don't go in the toilet. So don't put those in the, um, in the toilet. <laughs> put those in the trash. Okay, so also I would bring entertainment. So whatever that is for you, there should be spiritual services. So um, you should be able to have those on Sunday. So for me, I'm bringing my little, um, uh, my little, uh, you know, small scriptures, um, cards. Um, and then I also... will bring a journal I'm a person who likes to journal and even if you're not a person who usually likes to journal I would recommend getting a journal because um, it's your deployment right so you might want to write down what you're going through your different emotions or what's kind of happening in your life or anything like that your feelings it can be a very stressful time for different people especially if you have a family so it's nice to have some type of outlet right so I recommend bringing a journal also, it's really kind of cool to look back and see, like, what your thinking was. Um, I have a bunch of books and stuff that I'm bringing. I have audibles. I have uh, my Kindle on my phone. Um, I have actual paperback books. And so I'll be bringing those. I can do a separate video for that and show that um, if anybody's interested to what kind of entertainment I'll be bringing. So if you are a person who wants to get um, videos from other people, hard drive could be really good. People have some amazing like collections. So I would recommend getting a hard drive um, and you could also share, you know, swap things that you have um, and maybe bringing a laptop or some type of iPad or something like that. If you want to use that, I'm more of a reader. So that's why I have more so like Kindle books and stuff. I don't think I'm going to bring a laptop or hard drive. I also don't think I'm going to have a ton of time just to like binge watch TV shows um, if someone does that's kind of interesting um, I will actually bring some cards though I probably will bring like some phase 10 and maybe like uh, an uno deck of cards okay I think I pretty much covered everything I'm looking and seeing if there's anything that I haven't showed you guys or um that I will bring anything up there no I think I've I think I've showed you guys everything um I'll show you really quick I'll show you guys really quick my um obviously I'm bringing all my uniforms I recommend bringing all of them if you had not planned on it C bag, right? I'm bringing my C bag. Um, and I think all this stuff should fit in my C bag. So, and I probably will have another bag too. And I'm bringing my garment bag. This is actually my husband's garment bag. Um, mine is actually full with uniforms, but that will be brought with me too. Oh, and there's something else. 
cold. Okay. I actually don't know. Is it in here? Oh, it's in here. So I also be bringing pictures with me um, to go in my rack of my family, my kids, and stuff like that my son is adorable like i'm just going to show you guys this picture is this not the most adorable child that you have ever seen in your life he's such a little goober little bubba girl a little baby girl okay sorry being that dirty mom but yeah so i will be bringing some pictures too it's nice to like your rack is your rack guys like that is your home your bedroom your everything so definitely make it as comfortable as possible um and so for me i will be putting pictures on mine um and mine okay so i think i have covered everything um actually i just want to give a shout out to my sister-in-law she's the one who told me that this would be a cool video to do for civilians who are just kind of curious of like what i'm bringing and like what are some things you would bring on like a navy deployment um and also for anybody who you know might be deploying like this could be a good video for you if you're interested um on some ideas if there's anything that i missed that you guys who are military affiliated um would recommend for me to bring please comment and let me know so i can add that to my to my storage and my my pack of stuff that's gonna go with me um oh i didn't show you guys this falling into these mounts. I need to hurry up and put this stuff back in my like sea bag and stuff because this this stuff is just uh, it's a lot. But um, I would bring an extra belt, right? Because these are the belts that are actually allowed in your coveralls. So I would bring um, an extra belt just in case Make sure you get the right kind because there are some that look like this, but they're actually not the right kind. Um, and extra buckles. I've had these stolen. I've had these fall off and lost. All kinds of stuff. So I would just make sure that uh, you have an extra pair. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for uh, going through this with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.